This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and this is the MIA Ant on a Pole system. These are the parts that you will need to do a similar setup as the one I've shown here. You have probably seen the setup in some of my recent videos that I've been posting on my YouTube channel. And this is how I basically fly in my backyard with a pole that uh, raises the antenna about 10 feet from the ground. This is uh, one of the uh, units. Uh, this actually is done in three sections. I use three poles of about three feet uh, to four feet in length. And I use couplers such as this one to couple the poles. Makes the unit very compact, very portable. And this can also be done a little more compact if we reduce the length of the pole and just compress these clamps a little bit closer and make the wires a little bit smaller as well. But basically, this is what you will need. You will need this kit here and you will also need to provide a three quarter inch PVC rigid pipe. You will of course need to provide your own uh, receiver. I'm using the IRC832 which what these parts are designed around. So if you have a uh, same one or similar one it will fit inside these pockets here because these are clamps that have the pockets already for this uh, receiver dimensions. <clears throat> this clamp right here is basically this clamp here that holds the wires nice and tight and, and neat to prevent any of these wires coming loose makes uh, all the connections nice and uh, secure and there's a battery clamp which is th what this part is with the velcro strap and an additional clamp at the bottom here so that I can hook up my FPV headset goggles whatever you have um, you know with the strap you can just simply hook that to that hook there and basically that's the setup that is very portable you can take this with you in a small bag and depending how long you make this pole here because these can be compressed a little bit closer you can put it all in a bag and just take it with you when you go flying uh, you know to the field but I use this mainly for my backyard flying and you've seen some of the videos that I've been posting uh, recently um, how I um, fly with this uh, this is uh, tied to the back of uh, one of the patio chairs and that's how I fly it's very very keep keep it very simple and so the main reason for this setup is to keep everything at a component level uh, or a modular level I should say so that I can uh, easily service, uh, reuse uh, or mix and match you know other components and so by doing it this way it keeps all these components separate. Now, there's no hard wires here direct to anything. My uh, FPV headset has got its own connector that's connected to the cord here that runs all the way up to the unit here that receives the signal, the video signal from this wire here and it also receives the power from the battery via that connector there. This is a DVR that also receives the power from the battery via a DC to DC 12 volt to 5 volt DC converter which is embedded in this little box here. This is a custom box using a DVR that was meant to uh, mount on a quad but I repurposed that and decided to put it on, on this unit instead. Uh, you need the power connection to your uh, receiver, of course, you know, and these are the cables that came with the receiver itself. But what I did is I, I took out the uh, uh, RCA plugs. Those were not that great. They were very thin on the uh, a metal that uh, surrounds the, the connector, and so it wasn't clamping quite uh, tight, you know, to the mating connectors. So I decided to use my own, and these are just from uh, regular audio video uh, equipment. I had some left over and so I decided to use those there. This kit is available and you can simply email me uh, for the time being or once I put the link to my site you can just click the link it'll take you to a PayPal tag and you can proceed to the purchase from that point on. This is Mario with MIA Microflight once again and this is the MIA Ant on a Pole clamp system for an FPV system such as the one you see here. Any questions please put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.